Well, yes, it has been nearly 12 years that we made our first collaboration. They have seen me grow as a conductor in as much as I have experienced the NHK Symphony Orchestra as I've conducted around the world. I can say with great pleasure and certainty, I am who I am because of the NHK Symphony Orchestra. Much of the repertoire that we were able to perform together is the core repertoire for a conductor, and repertoire is a conductor's work. From the very first program with Tchaikovsky, we go this month alone in three different programs with Mahler's Fourth Symphony, Brahms's Third Symphony, Prokofiev's Fifth Symphony. And this is an opportunity because they not only see my, who I am, how I've matured, but we have great confidence in each other because of this repertoire and because of the experience that these 12 years have given. Do you love Brahms? I do. And I'm sure you do too, especially when you come and hear this program with the Brook Violin Concerto and the Third Symphony from Johannes Brahms. What makes this symphony so special? Well, there are two things I'd like to share with you. The first is the opening. You have a, a kind of development of a life motto through music. He uses three chords. <laughs> In German, it meant frei aber froh, free but happy, which was an adaptation from another life motto from his friend Joseph Joachim, who said frei aber einsam, which meant free but alone. For Johannes Brahms, who was a confirmed bachelor for basically his entire life, he was free but happy. But of course, he also was in love. And who was his love? Clara Schumann. He took this melody of his third symphony from Robert Schumann, his mentor, who was the husband of Clara Schumann. After Robert Schumann died, Clara and Brahms stayed friends and, in some way, in love till the end of their lives. And this third symphony is probably the most perfect example of that German romantic love. If he wasn't actually writing a love letter, he wrote it in a melody. This is the third movement of the Brahms third symphony. <laughs> exactly how he felt for Clara, even though they stayed a platonic friendship for most of their lives. What is so funny about this is that he actually mailed for a birthday present the original manuscript of the Third Symphony to Clara by post, and she was furious. Can you imagine if it got lost in the mail? Fortunately, it didn't. And fortunately for us and for you, you can hear the Brahms Third Symphony in this beautiful allegretto, this love letter that he shared for Clara, and that the NHK Symphony and I share with you. Arigato gozaimasu.